Another okay. part of your research has been on somatic cells in milk. Mm -hmm. uh, please tell us what, what it is and what was that research and how did it end? So that's kind of a side project of mine at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, so somatic cells are basically bacteria which mm -hmm. are present in milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, these are bad cells. They show that the cow is has an infection in the udder. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically what happens is um, it's a disease called mastitis. Mm -hmm. So mastitis is basically the infection of the udder. Um, when you milk the cow, the number of somatic cells that goes into the milk mm -hmm. gives you an estimate of the milk quality and the cow's health. Okay. okay. Um, you can have, I think the limit for somatic cells, at least in Europe, is about 150,000 cells per 100 ml or per liter or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't have the exact numbers, but yes. So the higher the number of somatic cells, uh, the poorer is the quality of milk. And you know your cow has an infection. It has mastitis. So now what we do is we uh, there's, currently there's only one way to test the quality of milk that is using chemical dyes. Okay. So there's a dye that they use that they mix into the milk. They shake it up and they take an image of it and then the dye changes color depending on the number of cells in it. And then what they do is they throw away the dye and mm -hmm. the milk with the dye. Now dyes are dangerous because they're mostly carcinogenic and they harm the environment. So we're trying to come up with an alternative solution mm -hmm. using again diamonds because diamonds are nothing but carbon-based materials. Mm -hmm. And we use these diamonds to evaluate <clears throat> or count the number of somatic cells in mm -hmm. milk and we use optical methods so we have like a fluorescence uh, mm -hmm. microscopic setup mm -hmm. and we use that to count the number of uh, somatic cells and, and evaluate the quality of milk so that's basically what it is it's it's actually very simple i mean i'm surprised no one really thought about this before 